We go to Jefferson High School for this football game, and Austin Castorina of Sparta starts his big night with a 26-yard run down to the Jefferson 4. Two plays later, and Austin Castorina takes it in from the 3, and Sparta takes a quick 7-0 lead. After a 3-and-out, Sparta back on offense, and quarterback Kenny Olkers with the quick out to Austin Castorina, and he makes a couple of guys miss on his way to a 25-yard pickup. First and goal for the Spartans from the three, and Austin Castorina caps the drive with his second touchdown, and Sparta leads 13 to nothing. Jefferson quarterback Matt Johnson feels the pressure, but gets the pass off and into the hands of Paul Monaco for a 46-yard pickup into Sparta territory. Great catch. The Falcons need to settle for a field goal as Matt Johnson knocks down the 35-yard attempt, and Jefferson trails 13-3. Sparta back on offense and Kenny Okers has a ton of time and finds Tyler Zabo who makes the nice catch and a 21 yard gain for the Spartans. Now third and two from the Jefferson 10 and it's Austin Castorina again as he goes the 10 yards into the end zone for his third touchdown of the game and Sparta leads 19 to three. Jefferson is on the move, puts the ball in the air but Pat Milliken comes down with the interception and Sparta goes back on the attack. The Spartans on offense as they go to their bag of tricks with a double pass as Kenny Okers gets it over to Brendan Cena who connects with Ben McDonald for the 33 yard gain and Sparta is in business once again. Austin Castorina takes the ball again and zigzags his way practically untouched 17 yards into the end zone and Austin Castorina has his fourth touchdown of the day as Sparta leads 26-3 after one quarter of play. Sparta has a relentless defense as they put the pressure on the Jefferson quarterback as his pass falls short of the target and is picked off by Tyler Sabo of Sparta. Jefferson defense finally gets penetration as Michael Gould and Tyler Cole combine on the sack as Jefferson would eventually force Sparta to punt. Sparta puts the brakes on another Jefferson drive and Nick Broccoletti comes down with the pick and the Spartans lead 26-3 at the half. We move to the third quarter and Sparta facing a second and 10 from the Jefferson 14. Austin Castorina avoids several tacklers on his way into the end zone. What a run as he has his fifth touchdown of the game and Sparta leads 32-3. Jefferson moving the ball on fourth and one. Matt Johnson stands tall in the pocket and fires the ball to David Hanna, who makes a great catch. The drive, however, stalls, and the Falcons have to turn the ball over on downs, and it's 32-3 Sparta after three quarters of play. Fourth quarter we go, and Austin Castorina spins his way out of the pack en route to a 33-yard run to cap a 184-yard five-touchdown effort as the Sparta Spartans move to 4-1 and one with a 32-3 victory over Jefferson. We knew the, the O-line would have to come up big and open up some holes for Austin, and I feel like we really accomplished that. I thought we came out, you know, really strong, and, uh, you know, it's a big game because it's our rival, and I thought we did a great job. It's just awesome to come out and win. We're on a four-game win streak now, so it's, we're doing good right now. It felt great. I, we knew that Jefferson was going to give us a good fight like they did last year. Coach kept saying that the record does not represent the team, and we really saw that tonight. They were a hard-hitting team, really intense, and they gave us a good fight, but we pulled through. Extremely happy the way our kids played. You know, we, we uh, came out of the locker room and uh, had some early momentum. They, they actually took some uh, uh, momentum back, but uh, coming out there and getting that score at the end of the third quarter kind of gave us back. Um, you know, they, they're, they're actually a tough team. You know, I, I, I've, I've said that to multiple people. I don't think their record is... Uh, uh, indicates their uh, level of play. Um, happy with our offensive line, uh, controlling it. Uh, extremely happy with uh, with uh, Austin. Ke uh, Kenny actually threw the ball well. So uh, and 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 to me, at the end of the day, our defense only gave up three points. So it, it was good all around. What a big night for Austin Castorino! Five touchdowns, 185 yards. Well, our goal was to uh, be very physical up front because we know Jefferson's a very uh, physical team, and uh, I thought the line did a great job and uh, gave me great holes, and uh, it was a fun fun time out there. Austin's one of the hardest runners I've ever blocked for. It's an amazing experience to block for him. It's great to see Castorina back on the field. He missed last year with a broken arm, and he's making up for lost time.
when I uh, broke my arm, I went right to the gym, uh, you know, started working because I knew, you know, that season was over. It was a really uh, emotional time for me because, uh, you know, you put so much work into seasons. And uh, when you have a, a you know, season ending uh, injury when I couldn't play with my brother that year. So, you know, it just motivated me. You know, now I got two more years and uh, trying to make the most of it. Castorino was able to get those touchdowns and big yards with a great job by the offensive line anchored by veteran Tyler Lewis. We've got heart up on the front. We, like you said, we may not be the biggest up front, but we know what we got to do to get the job done. Story of this season for Sparta, despite the opening day loss to Ramapo, the defense has been lights out, anchored by Ryan Richardson. It's awesome. I love when Cap uh, first put it in. I love playing free safety. Just going to the strong side, it's awesome. I Three over two, they're not going to throw to us, and we trust our weak side with the uh, Pat Milliken and Zay Bauer, Brock Letty. Sparta's secondary had three picks tonight. One of those picks, Pat Milligan, helped set up a big touchdown to give Sparta some breathing room. It kind of reminded me of my interception against Westmore Central last year where I kind of had no one to cover, so I just dropped back, saw the ball get released from the quarterback's hand, and I just went for the ball and came down with it. That's actually been the uh, MO of our defense all, all year. We, we, we've actually created a uh, good uh, good chunk of turnovers this year you know I was I was talking to somebody before you know it's never about time of possession or how many yards you have it's 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 pretty much as a defensive coach how many points you gave up and at the end of the day we uh, gave up three points on so I'm uh, happy with our defensive effort. Coach Frank Marciano very pleased with this team after the loss to Rampo he takes it one week at a time as they hit the turn to the second half of the season but he's pleased with the Spartans where they're at and the goal is always the same at Sparta win the division win the state title. Each week is a new challenge, you know, it's, it's, it, it's about, you know, playing hard on a weekend, taking a day off and going back to work, you know, you, you, you can never rest on your uh, laurels, you know, we got, uh, you know, st still uh, left on our schedule, we got Vernon, Randolph, Monfill, Mars Hills, so it's, uh, you know, tough stretch right there.